Every year, millions of Americans tune in for the release of our Shopper's Guide to Pesticides and Produce. Why? Fruits and veggies are the foundation of a healthy diet, but a lot of us want to avoid consuming pesticides if we can. EWG's Clean 15 and Dirty Dozen lists make it easy to find out which fruits and vegetables have the most and least pesticide residues. That way, when you're in the produce aisle, you can make the best choice for your family. Buying organic versions of the Dirty Dozen helps you skip the toxic chemicals, while buying conventional versions of the Clean 15 helps your wallet. Why is it a good idea to avoid pesticides? By definition, pesticides are created to kill living organisms, like insects, invasive plants, and fungi. They can pose some serious health risks to humans too, especially children. Pesticides are linked to issues like brain and nervous system damage, cancer, and hormone disruption. The lists change every year, but there's some general rules of thumb to keep in mind. We create the list based on the USDA test data. Those tests detect pesticides in produce in the form in which it's typically eaten. So things like blueberries and peaches are washed, while foods like bananas and avocados are peeled. In general, produce with a thick outer peel that you don't eat is gonna have less pesticide residues than leafy greens or produce with a soft and edible skin. Here are some examples. When it comes to pesticides on produce, one of the most problematic is spinach. A lot of spinach is grown using a neurotoxic bug killer that has been banned in Europe. Another is strawberries. Testing in California found that nearly 300 pounds of pesticides were applied to each acre of strawberries grown. So, like for spinach, we recommend that you buy organic strawberries whenever you can. Meanwhile, some of the regulars on the Clean 15 list are the ever-popular avocado, grapefruit, and cauliflower. For the full Dirty Dozen and Clean 15 lists and more info about reducing your exposure to pesticides, visit us online at ewg.org slash food news.